Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a full curly hair routine for you because I've got an event tomorrow and I want my hair to look really good. Um, I always find that my second day hair looks the best, so I'm showing you exactly what I do step by step and also how I preserve it at night so it looks really good in the morning. I'm going in with a leave-in cream. You can use a leave-in cream or conditioner here, um, but this is an important step for prepping your hair for styling and i'm just putting this all over this is the shine cream from curl smith by the way one of my favorites um and i'm kind of just raking that through smoothing my hair And now I'm taking the tangle teaser and I'm just going to gently detangle starting from the bottom first and working my way up to the top. This is going to help distribute the product evenly as well, which will really help with frizz and definition. And as you can see, I'm raking my hair from the roots slightly so my curls aren't stuck to my scalp. And now I'm going in with a heat protectant. This is the Miracle Shield from Curl Smith, also one of my favourites. And I'm making sure that's all over and then brushing it through again to evenly distribute with my tangle teaser. Now I'm raking from the root again. This is really important before the next step because we're gonna be sectioning our hair and this will make it a lot easier. Now we're gonna take some claw clips because we're gonna start sectioning. We're gonna do the flip section method, which is my method I came up with, which is flip styling for maximum volume and definition. Um, but we're gonna do this a little differently. So we're gonna take section one and two, as you can see here, the top and the middle, but we're gonna leave the bottom section down. I'm doing this because my hair's got longer and I find this a little bit easier. So I'm defining the bottom section with the tangle teaser and then I'm just kind of like smoothing it with a little bit of tension and angling the brush and it's helping give these juicy ribbon curls. And then I'm going in with a wide tooth comb to separate those clumps. That really helps with volume as well. Go in with a gel on each section. I'm just sort of scrunching it in and glazing it all over. I'm just giving the root a little shake to make sure they're all joined together. And now I'm just putting these crocodile clips on the back section to keep it out the way. And we're going straight in with that section closest to our face. If you're noticing your section has started to dry, I would advise going in with a bit of water just because you want this to be as easy as possible and you don't want to snag your hair. Um, I'm now gently brush styling the front. I'm just smoothing the brush really gently and it's not, it's not snagging at all because I've got the cream in, I've got the water in and now I'm going in with the comb and that's going to gently um, divide those clumps. I find this really helps with volume at the end as well. So this is like a crucial step for me. Going in with some gel, scrunching that in, and then we're repeating the process on that middle layer. I'm using my hand, as you can see, to just help divide the section so I don't get it confused. And brushing, combing, going in with some gel, I glaze and scrunch. Now I'm shaking the roots slightly because we're gonna flip our hair up and we don't want our roots to get stuck. So glide your hands into your scalp, shake, flip, and then gently remove your hands. Now take out these crocodile clips and start shaking your hair and this will unclump any curls that got stuck in that transition flipping up again. I find that method really works for me. Um, now I'm going in with a microfiber towel and I'm just gently micro plopping. This is gonna really help encourage the curl definition and remove some of that excess water weight to make diffusing a little bit quicker. So I'm starting to diffuse and as you noticed, I've got a satin gown on and this is gonna really help reduce frizz. Um, if you don't have one, maybe put a satin or silk scarf around your neck or a pillowcase maybe, um, but just anything to help reduce frizz. And as you can see, I'm just kind of hover diffusing. I don't really wanna to touch my hair too much. Uh, a little bit would be fine, but it's just best to hover at this stage to help set the curls. Um, and I'm kind of just targeting the roots here. 
And then after that, I'm just gently cupping the ends to encourage a bit of definition, but not too vigorously. And now going in with the layers, I really love to focus on the layers for definition if you have them. Um, it just helps give body and dimension across the whole hair. So um, I just like to cup these, as you can see here, up to the root. And I kind of do that all over until I see a noticeable lift. And then I typically will move on to the lengths. Now I've decided that I've had enough of diffusing, um, but mainly because I need to actually get on with some work. Um, so I'm just gently root clipping. I'm just putting three little claw clips at the front and then one, sorry, cr yeah, claw clips at the front and then one in the middle. Um, and this is gonna help give a bit of lift so my hair doesn't get stuck to my scalp just while I'm letting it air dry the rest. I don't know if I'll go in with my diffuser later at this point, but I've just got to get on with some stuff and, um, Two hours later, I realized it still wasn't dry, got a bit of work done, and now I am just sort of shaking my hair out. I'm now really going in with a diffuser. I really don't mind touching my hair at this point. I feel like it's quite essential for the volume. So I go in and kind of scrunch out the crunch as I'm going and shake the roots out a bit. And I was so happy with how this came out. I'm really, really impressed with this wash day. It's now several hours later and I wanna protect my hair up at night. So I do this specific routine, which um, I have a full video on on my channel. I'll make sure I feature it up the top in a moment. But this really, really holds my curls so well. Um, it's now the morning and as I'm saying on the screen, my sleep was extremely short, it felt. Um, so I'm looking a little bit miserable and tired. <laughs> um, and yeah, my neck is slightly orange because I faked tan before I went to bed, if you're wondering. <laughs> Um, just shaking my hair out now and I'm genuinely so impressed with how it held up. Look at that. It looks so much better than day one. And here we are around five hours later just before the event at the hotel and my curls are looking great. I'm so happy with this routine. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you again in my next one.